from the Na from the National Weather Service in Raleigh, it's Nick Petro with your routine weekly briefing for Central North Carolina. We're going to cover the rest of 2022 this last week, and uh, that'll take us this briefing through uh, through Sunday, the 1st of January, New Year's Day, 2023. And man, was it cold this morning? Let me tell you, I uh, I had quite a bit of uh, ice on my uh, on my window this morning and somewhere here where is it here um wrong one hang on bear with me for just a second i have a map i wanted to show oh, here it is right here all right so this uh is a map of low temperatures uh this morning and uh, obviously uh you know we're still in the midst of this brutally cold air mass that originated Gosh, up up near up near the North Pole. I mean, if you you could track it back, uh, and where it came from is just brutally, brutally cold. And obviously, we've heard about all the impacts across the rest of the country and the heavy snows up in the Buffalo area, and unfortunately, the 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 numerous fatalities and up in up in those areas. So this has definitely been one uh, heck of a a, a week of of uh, winter weather here, uh, albeit a dry week, um, but but brutally cold. You, you may have recall, uh, you know, I've got done many um, winter outlooks uh, for a variety of of, of uh, EM groups and civic groups, and uh, I may have even mentioned it here on this briefing, but. You know, I mentioned that uh, we would expect, you know, eight weeks of warm weather above normal and and four weeks of below normal or, or winter type weather so uh and i said well remember last last winter it was all it was all in the month of january you know december was warm and dry february was warm and dry and then you know it seemed like we had winter in january well it, it, this this year looks like it's gonna be a little different looks like we're gonna get that winter a little bit at a time rather than just confined into one you know month or so and it looks like this was the first of, of 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 one of those episodes. All right. So anyway, uh, pretty cold. You know, single digits out in the the central and western Piedmont teens, uh, elsewhere across the triad. So uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what we dealt with this morning. Oh uh, gosh, let's see what else do I want to share here. Uh, this is current temperatures, current readings. You can see still plenty of sunshine. And let me zoom out here and. Um, what we've got here is this this is a the next of the series of dips in the jet streams or troughs there's a little bit of precip here with that uh, snow um and the question is you know when this trough whose axis is probably somewhere along this line right here when this trough moves east are we going to get into any of this snow flurry type activity uh, overnight tonight and, and the answer to that is probably if if you see a snow flurry, don't be surprised, but count yourself lucky because the air over central North Carolina is incredibly dry. It is so, so dry that when so that when this precip uh, moves over the mountains, well, number one, it's going to downslope, which is a, a, which is a drying effect anyway. But but even if it didn't downslope the air over us right now is so dry that most of this would uh just simply you know evaporate before hitting uh before hitting the ground but but again don't be surprised if you see a flake or two of snow in the air uh, uh that'll be mostly tonight right jimmy the snow flurries yeah okay bye what time what, what time will be over by this time tomorrow tonight till okay so about 10 10 p.m tonight to 4 a.m so actually most of us will be sleeping through including me uh so um i'm not working on the tonight part of the forecast by the way i'm working on the extended so uh, i just asked jimmy here on the other side of the room uh, uh he said 10 p.m to 4 4 a.m tonight don't be surprised if there's a flurry or two in the air but Again, not a not a big deal. But anyway, you could see we're climbing up through the uh, uh, lower 30s at about eight degrees on top of this for our high temperatures today. 
and, and that's where we'll be for for highs. So clearly warmer than than what we've seen. And uh, here is this uh, weather system on the upper left that I mentioned, and that will um, that'll move across, and then basically uh, high pressure will build back in for Wednesday. High pressure will linger over for Thursday. Uh, our next chance for weather will come over the weekend with uh, with the cold front, and and um, you know it'll just be rain. There's not it's it's going to be uh, warm by then. In fact, when this high moves offshore, you see on the upper right panel when this high moves offshore, and and as this next uh, pr pressure system over the uh, Rockies moves into the plains, we're going to see a real deep uh southerly flow so again flow around high pressure is clockwise and then flow around low pressure is counterclockwise and the flow in between these two systems is southwest to northeast so we'll really really warm up here uh thanks to southerly flow developing um in fact that gradual warm-up is already underway um it's already uh, uh beginning today as we get up into the low 40s um, but but by the time we get to Thursday, we're going to be above normal, and, and that above normal is going to last through through at least the weekend period. And then, of course, as I mentioned, the next chance for rain will be uh, will be with the cold front. But the, that cold front coming through over the weekend is not going to be a big weather maker. Uh, we'll get a little bit of rain out of that, and it's not going to be a massive temperature change either. It's not like we're going to drop right back into the you know, cold that we've had. Um, so, um, so anyway, that's how things are looking for um, uh, for the for this week. If I could find my mouse, there it is. Okay, all right. So, how much rain? Dry today, dry Tuesday, dry Wednesday, dry Thursday, mainly dry on Friday. Um, but if these panels went out to Saturday, you would see some rain, some like light shades of green over us Saturday. So at least through Friday, we're dry. And then, um, you know, hopefully maybe we could put some, uh, again, maybe a little bit of a dent into the drought east of I-95 with, um, with, 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 uh, with that rain this weekend, but we'll see. Um, no risk for flash flooding, no risk for severe thunderstorms this week. Um, and then, interestingly, the eight to 14 day outlook, courtesy of the Climate Prediction Center. So we're talking next week, the full, first full week of January. Um, the, the odds still favor uh, above normal temperatures, and, and and perhaps maybe even uh, above normal precip. So again, that would be rain if that were to happen. You know, real quick, uh, if 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 you don't mind, I'll show you a, a sort of a temperature map here that I'd like to use. And what this what this map basically represents is air mass. Okay, so where you see blue, that means the air mass over you is or over that area is below normal. It's colder than it normally would be. Where it's red, that represents air mass that is warmer than average, or warmer than than what it would than it, than it typically should be. Uh, and, and it's this these lighter shades of blue, lighter shades of orange, and the white represent you know close to average. So. This is the current situation, right? Basically right now, this is the current situation. And you can see we're still stuck in this below normal, colder than normal air mass, okay? And this is this is the current situation. Now look at this, um, look at this little ball, if you will, of cold air back over the central plains. That's behind that cold front that I pointed out. Remember I drew a little trough line here uh, earlier? And I said, well, that's going to come through uh, tonight, and and the flurries could be a, a flurry or two with that. Well, what this little ball of of below normal temperature is going to do uh, is is essentially it's not going to make it colder so much as it's just going to basically mean what we have now is going to continue into tomorrow. So watch what happens. This is current. This is this evening. This is overnight tonight. This is first thing tomorrow morning. And this is uh, this time tomorrow. And you can see that the air mass really doesn't change. I wouldn't even call it reinforced. I would just say, you know, the, the, the real warm up is, is, is delayed. 
uh, because the, the, the cooler air is still in place by this time tomorrow. So, so we'll be a little bit warm. We'll, tonight lows will be about 10 degrees warmer than we had last night. Because again, th this air mass, albeit blue, meaning below normal, it's not as cold below normal as it was last night. So it'll be, you know, moderated just a bit uh, tonight. And then, um, and then, so tomorrow during the day, we'll probably be out, back up into the low to mid 40s, just like we'll be, you know, today in the low 40s. But watch what happens. This is tomorrow evening, Tuesday evening, uh, early Wednesday morning. And, and this is Wednesday midday. It's like we're in a transition zone here where the, the, the blue is departing and the red is starting to appear. And that means we'll kind of be close to normal temperatures on Wednesday, but look what happens on Thursday. Here comes the warm air, look at that. And, and it's interesting how that the Great Lakes region, Ohio Valley is really gonna warm up uh, by late week. So all that cold, brutal air they have, will be replaced by warming air and and, and what a what a change from just going brutally cold to 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 somewhat you know mild for this time of year maybe i wouldn't call it mild but at least you know a few, few degrees above normal but uh that that warm air again indicated by the red makes it into the carolinas by thursday and then um and then you could see it pretty much sets up over us for friday uh, Saturday, look at all that red over us. So that means, you know, above normal temperatures. Uh, this is uh, Sunday. Even after that little front comes through, we still remain in an air mass that's above normal. Uh, here's early next week. So that's Monday of next week. This time next week, we're still above normal. Uh, there's Tuesday of next week. So eight days from now, nine days from now, 10 days from now, uh, still above normal. Uh, we have to go all the way, all the way. Gosh, that that's Saturday, not this Saturday. That's the following Saturday. We have to go all the way to when's that blue next blue get in here? The next blue gets in here late Sunday, not not this upcoming Sunday, but two Sundays from now. So if this particular model comes to pass, we're gonna have what ten, maybe fourteen days of temperatures uh, uh, above normal. So uh, so anyway, um, enjoy that. Uh, that takes us all the way through the 9th of January. And then as we go beyond that, then things cool back down again. Maybe that's another shot of the four weeks of winter that I've been talking about. All right. So there's a little, um, I thought I'd go a little bit in deeper, uh, deeper in depth, uh, in depth since we have such a small group here uh, today. But anyway, that's why these maps are so deeply red meaning uh, odds favor above normal temperatures during that eight to 14 day period. So uh, so anyway, any precip we get during that time is gonna be rain, all right? All right, so that wraps it up for this week's weekly briefing here. Gradual warm up getting underway today, above normal temps by late week, lasting through at least the upcoming weekend. It, I put the word at least, but probably well into the following week. Um, I just figured I'd take it one week at a time. <laughs> But, uh, but 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 let's assume that that's going to be at least for the next 10 to 14 days. All right, and then the next chance for rain will be uh, this weekend associated with the cold front. But again, that cold front's going to be uh, not a really cold, cold front. It's just going to bring a shot of rain, and then we're right back into the above normal temperatures. All right, so what hazards do we have? Well, it's going to be cold the next couple nights still. We're going to have lows in the mid-20s tonight and tomorrow night. And then it won't be until... Um, Wednesday night before we finally, uh, you know, get up around freezing and Thursday night before we're, we're staying above freezing for lows. So we have a few cold nights ahead of us. So, uh, you know, when I say the warm up is getting underway, uh, you know, it, it's getting underway, but look where we're coming from. We're coming from lows in the single digits to teens. <laughs> so, so while 26 and 25 for lows tonight and Tuesday night respectively seem cold, uh, that's actually a warm up compared to, the, to to what we've had the last couple of mornings. So anyway, that wraps up the weekly briefing for Central North Carolina for this 26th of December 2022.